lesson po natin ngayon ay properties of operations on integers. Okay, we have the objective. At the end of the video, the student should be able to illustrate the different properties of operations on integers and apply the property of operation in real life situation. Please like and share to Mom Desk Math Tutorials. Hit the notification bell button to alert you from our next video lesson. Okay, so let us have the properties of operation on integers. We have the closure property. The next one, commutative property, associative property, identity property, inverse property, distributive property, and zero property of multiplication. So ito po yung mga i-discuss natin ngayon. Okay, so start po tayo sa mga images na nakikita natin ngayon dito. Okay, meron pong box. Ang nasa labo, loob ng box ay mga Angry Birds. And then, si Green Pig yung nasa labas ng box. Okay. So, Green Pig said, Why can't I come in? The Angry Birds replied, Sorry, we are a closed set. Ano po ang ibig sabihin nito? Yung tatlong Angry Birds, pag pinagsama-sama, Angry Birds spread. Okay? So, may kinalaman po yan dito sa closure property natin. For any integers a and b, a plus b is an integer. Since the addends are integers, the sum is also an integer. Example, 14 plus 30 equals 44. Negative 14 plus negative 5 equals negative 90. 15 plus negative 4 equals 11. Negative 20 plus 8 equals negative 12. So, pag pinag-add po ang mga integers, ang sum po nila ay integers pa rin. Again, that is a closure property of addition. Now, for the closure property of multiplication, for any integers a and b, a times b is an integer. Since the factors are integers, the product is also an integer. Examples. 4 times 3 is 12. Negative 4 times negative 5 is 20. 15 times negative 4 is negative 60. Negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. So, ang dalawang integers kapag binultiply, ang sagot po ay integers pa rin. Okay. So, look at these pictures. So, yung una ay evil minions. Sunod yung minions. And then, sa right side, nauna yung minions. And then, sa right side po, ay yung evil minions. So, ibig sabihin, nakikita natin dito na nagpalit sila ng presto. Both left and right. Okay, so this is related for our next property, which is commutative property of addition. Commutative property of addition. For any integers, a and b, a plus b equals b plus a, this property states that changing the order of the addends does not affect the sum. Examples. 6 plus 4 equals 4 plus 6. 10 is equal to 10. Negative 6 plus 4 equals 4 plus negative 6. Negative 2 equals negative 2. Negative 5 plus negative 13 equals negative 13 plus negative 5. Negative 18 equals negative 18. Again, kahit po pagpalitin yung order ng addends ay hindi maapektuhan ang sum or hindi mababago ang sagot. Kahit pagpalitin ng pwesto, yung mga numbers na i-add po natin. Commutative property of multiplication. For n integers a and b, a times b is equal to b times a. This property states that changing the order of the factors does not affect the product. Katulad po ng addition kanina, ganun din sa multiplication. Kahit pagpalitin ng pwesto or ng position, yung mga factors ay hindi magbabago ang sagot. Examples. 6 times 4 equals 4 times 6. Then 24 is equal to 24. Negative 6 times 4 equals 4 times negative 6. And negative 24 equals negative 24. Negative 5 times negative 10 equals negative 10 times negative 5. Then 50 is equal to 50. Okay, look 
at the pictures. Ayan. Kay Panda and Grease ay uh, nasa isang group. Tapos, si Ice Bear ay nasa labas. Then, the other one, ang nasa labas naman ay si Panda. Tapos, si Grease ang nasa uh, loob at saka si Ice Bear. Next one, sa group na ito, ang nasa loob ay burger at saka fries. Ang nasa labas ay coke flow. And then sa baba, ang nasa labas naman ay burger. And then nasa loob ng group ay fries and drinks. So kung napapansin nyo, pare-parehas lang po sila ng arrangement. Ang naiba, yung groupings nila. So, ano po kayang property ito? It is associative property of addition. For any integers a, b, and c, quantity of a plus b plus c is equal to a plus the quantity of b plus c. This property states that changing the grouping of the addends will not affect the sum. Ayan, kahit pagpalitin yung grouping ng addends o yung mga numbers na i-add, hindi mababago ang sagot. Examples. Quantity of 6 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 6 plus the quantity of 2 plus 1. So, kung napansin nyo dito, sa given na ito, ang nasa grouping symbol ay yung 6 plus 2. Sa right side, yung 2 plus 1. So, sagutan ka agad yung nasa loob ng grouping symbol. So, 6 plus 2 equals 8. Bring down 1 sa kabilang side naman, sa right side. 2 plus 1, 8, 3. And then, bring down 6. And then, ipag-add yung dalawa, both left and right. 8 plus 1 is 9. 6 plus 3 is 9. For the next example, quantity 6 plus negative 2 plus 3 equals 6 plus the quantity of negative 2 plus 3. Okay. So, uh, i-add ang 6 plus negative 2, then i-bring down yung 3. Sa right side naman, i-bring down ang 6, i-add yung negative 2 plus 3. So, we have 4 plus 3, and then 6, then plus 1. So, i-add 4 plus 3 is 7, 6 plus 1 is 7. So, napansin, hindi po na bago ang sum. Okay, for the associative property of multiplication, for any integers a, b, and c, a times b times c is equal to a times the quantity of b times c. Again, quantity of a times b times c is equal to a times the quantity of b times c. This property states that the changing of the grouping of the factors will not affect the product. Ayan. So, like in addition, kahit mabago yung groupings ng factors, ay hindi mababago ang product. Example, quantity of 6 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6 times the quantity of 2 times 1. Okay, sa left side, ang nasa loob ng grouping symbol ay yung 6 times 2, while in the right side, ang nasa loob ay yung 2 times 1. So, i-multiply ang 6 times 2, then copy yung 1 or bring down. Bring down 6 dito sa right side, and then yung 2 times 1 ay multiply So, we have 12 times 1. And then 6 times 2. And then I multiply again. 12 times 1 is 12. And 6 times 2 is 12. Next example, quantity negative 3 times 4. And then times negative 5. So right side, negative 3 times the quantity of 4 times negative 5. Okay, so I multiply po muna yung nasa loob. Negative 3 times 4. And then I bring down yung negative 5. So right side naman. I multiply yung 4 times negative 5 and then I bring down yung negative 3. And then sagutan po, negative 12 times negative 5 and negative 3 times negative 20. Sa ang galing yung negative 12? It is uh, from the product of negative 3 and 4. Yung negative 20 from the product of 4 and negative 5. Okay, and then simplify. So we have 60 is equal to 60. Okay, for the next property, look at the pictures. Okay, yung first picture po natin, kung nakikita natin, may laman. Okay, yung second, walang laman. Now, so, pag pinagsama mo, yung may laman ang sagot. So, meaning, k plus 0 is equal to k. Okay, it is the identity property of addition. For any integer a, a plus 0 is equal to a. 
states that the sum of any number and zero is that number. The identity element of addition is zero. So, ang ibig sabihin po ng property na ito, kahit i-add mo ang lahat ng number ng zero, yung number pa rin ang sagot. So, ibig sabihin, hindi mababago yung mga number kapag in-add mo siya ng zero. Sarili niya pa rin yung answer. No. Okay, and always remember the identity element for addition is zero. Examples. We have 5 plus 0 equals 5. 0 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 4. So, yung 5 dito, inad ng 0, 5 pa rin. Yung negative 4, inad ng 0, negative 4 pa rin. The next one is identity property for multiplication. For any integer a, a times 1 is equal to a. States that the product of any number and 1 is that number. The identity element of multiplication is 1. Okay, so kahit po anong number ang i-multiply ng 1, yung number pa rin ang sagot. Again, any number multiplied by 1, the answer is that number. Okay, the identity element for multiplication is 1. Examples, 8 times 1 equals 8. 8 multiplied by 1, 8 pa rin po ang sagot. Ne 1 times negative 9 equals negative 9. So, negative 9 pa rin ang sagot kapag minultiply mo ng 1. Okay, look at this pictures. Ayan. Yung first picture, kung nakikita po natin, may palaman. Okay? Yung pangalawa, nawala. Ayan. So, bilangin mo, ilan po ba ang nasa loob ng burger na to? So, binilang natin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 5. Now, so it means put in positive 5. Okay? Tapos dito nawala sa right side. So remove. So pag remove po, it represent as negative 5. Now, pag pinagsama mo yan, positive 5 at saka negative 5, ano po ang nangyari? Kasi put in, nilagay, tapos tinanggal. Nilagay, tinanggal. So ang sagot po natin dyan ay 0. Okay, so this property is the additive inverse property. Okay. Next, for any integer a, a plus negative a is equal to zero. States that the sum of any number and its additive inverse or opposite is zero. Okay, when we talk about additive inverse, it is also referred to opposite. Ayan, and then always remember kapag in mo yung number and its additive inverse or opposite, the answer is zero. Examples, 10 plus negative 10 is equal to zero. Negative 6 plus 6 is equal to zero. For multiplicative inverse property, for any integer a, a times 1 over a is equal to 1, states that the product of any number and its multiplicative inverse or reciprocal is 1. When you say reciprocal, like for example a, the denominator is 1 and therefore the reciprocal is 1 over a. Samples, 4 times 1 fourth equals 1. 4 has the denominator of 1. That's why the reciprocal is 1 fourth. If you multiply the 2, the answer is 1. Negative 8 times negative 1 8 is equal to 1. Negative 8 has denominator of 1. Its reciprocal is negative 1 8 and its product is 1. Look at the pictures. Okay? There are pictures inside the grouping symbols and the factors too outside the grouping symbols. Okay, this means that to distribute to Naruto and the other one to distribute to Sasuke. What do you think is that property? This property is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. For any integers a, b, and c, a quantity of b plus c equals a, b plus a, c. This property states that when two numbers have been added and then multiplied by a factor, the result will be the same. When each number is multiplied by the factor and the products are then added. Kapag nag-add muna ng dalawang number and then multiply by its factors and then for the other side, nag-multiply ka muna and then saka ka nag-add, pareho lang po ang answer nun. Examples, 2 times the quantity of 6 plus 12 equals 2 times 6 plus 2 times 12. This means on the right side, distribute 2 to 6. 
That's why we have 2 times 6. Distribute 2 times 12. That's why we have 2 times 12. Okay? So, ngayon, i-add ang 6 plus 12. So, i-add ang 6 plus 12 and then multiply ang 2 times 6 at saka 2 times 12. So, we have now 2 times 18 equals 12 plus 24. 6 plus 12 is 18. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 12 is 24. And then, simplify your answer. We have 36 is equal to 36. Next, negative 2 times the quantity of 4 plus 3 equals negative 2 times 4 plus negative 2 times 3. Negative 2 distribute to 4. That's why we have negative 2 times 4 here. Negative 2 distribute to 3. That's why negative 2 times 3 here. And then, simplify po natin. I-add ang 4 and 3. I-multiply ang two, negative 2 and 4. And then, negative 2 times 3. We have now negative 2 times 7, negative 8, and then negative 6. Okay, and then simplify the product. We have product of negative 2 times 7 is negative 14, and then negative 8 plus negative 6 is negative 14. Okay, the next one is the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. For any integers a, b, and c, a times the quantity of b minus c is equal to ab minus ac. This property states that when two numbers have been subtracted and then multiplied by a factor, the result will be the same when each number is multiplied by the factor and the products are then subtracted. Kung mag ma minus ka muna at saka mag multiply and then sa right side nag multiply ka muna and then sa mag ma minus pareho lang po ang answer. Examples. 2 times the quantity of 6 minus 12. Distribute yung 2 sa 6. Distribute yung 2 sa 12. Okay, sa right side, meron tayong 2 times 6 minus 2 times 12. Okay, so sagutan ang 6 minus 12. I-multiply ang 2 times 6 at saka 2 times 12. So we have 2 times negative 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 12 is 24. It's over subtraction. Okay, simplify po both left and right. 2 times negative 6, and then 12 minus 24 is negative 12. So, walang pagbabago ang answer in both sides. Next, 3 times the quantity of 4 minus 3 equals 3 times 4 minus 3 times 3. 3 distribute to 4, that's why we have 3 times 4. 3 distribute to 3, that's why we have 3 times 3. Don't forget the uh, subtraction sign. Okay, so we have now 3 times 1 and then 12 minus 9. 4 minus 3 is 1. 3 times 4 is 12. Then 3 times 3 is 9. Simplify your answer, both left and right. 3 times 1 is 3. 12 minus 9 is 3. Okay, the last one, the last property is the zero property of multiplication. For any integer, a, a times 0 is 0. It means the product of any integer and 0 is 0. So kahit po anong number ang i-multiply mo ng 0, ang sagot po ay 0 pa rin. Kahit po isang million pa yan, million times 0 is 0. Examples, 2 times 0 is equal to 0. And then 0 times negative 9 is equal to 0. Okay, so you can answer this activity. Your answer should write in the comment section. Again, write your answer in the comment section. Okay, for the direction, identify the property being used in the situation, then express the statement in mathematical form. Okay, the problem is Mrs. Moreno, an online seller, wants to buy four pieces of shirts and three skirts that cost 150 pesos each. How much did Mrs. Moreno pay for the clothes? Okay, so again, isulat po ang sagot sa comment section. Then, let us end our discussion from a math code. Without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. By Shakantola Devi. Thank you for watching and please support Mamdesma Tutorial. See you on my next video. Bye-bye!